Cookies, JavaScript local storage, and session storage. What are these? What are the differences? And when to use which one? These are the questions that I am going to answer in this video. So if you're ready, let's dive in. I'm sure you have heard about cookies. Cookies are small text files that websites use to store information about a session or user. Cookies have an expiration date that can be set by the websites. So they can expire immediately after the session or they can last for days, months or years. Generally, websites write the data in the cookies for analytics as well as to create a better customer experience. The data contained in a cookie is sent back to the server on every request to the server. Cookies have a four kilobyte limit. That means you can only put limited amount of data. They are associated with the domain and only those domains that create those cookies can read them. As long as the site is using HTTPS protocol instead of HTTP. I'm not gonna get into the details of the security issues with cookies. Both the client, that is your browser, and your web server that's serving your site can read and write those cookies. Any JavaScript that's included in your site can also read and write those cookies. Websites have used the cookies from the early days of internet for analytics as well as to create a better customer experience. A bit later in this video, I will show you how to look at the cookies that are created by a given website. Now let's talk about local storage. Just like cookies, local storage is also used to store information. Many people refer to local storage as JavaScript local storage. You can use JavaScript to read and write the content to local storage. Same goes with session storage. This information is stored in the browser. Local storage has no expiration date. The data stored in local storage is only available on the client side. Unlike cookies, it is not sent to the server on each request. The big difference between cookies and local storage is the amount of data that can be stored. In cookies, the limit is four kilobytes. However, in local storage, you can store up to five megabytes of data. That's huge. So you can write a lot of content to local storage to use on your website. Similar to local storage is session storage. There are two main differences between local storage and session storage. One, session storage data is only available during the session. So as soon as you close the browser tab, the data is gone. And hence the name session storage. And the second difference is that session storage has a higher data storage limit. However, these limits depend on the browser the user is using. So while local storage has the maximum availability of 5 MB, in some browsers, session storage can go up to 10 MB or megabytes. Now I'm going to go open a website in a browser and show you how you can look at the cookies, local storage, and session storage. Here I have opened msn.com in Chrome web browser. To see the cookies, local storage, and session storage, click on these three dots on the top and go down to more tools and developer tools. Once in developer tools, browse over to application. This is where you will see the storage, which has local storage, session storage, and cookies. Click on the arrow to expand and then click on the domain that you want to see the local storage for. So here, MSN, and I can see all the keys and the values that MSN is storing in local storage. Similarly, to see session storage, expand this, click on MSN, and here you can see the session storage. To see the cookies, expand on cookies, click on the domain, and you can see all the cookies that this site is using. To see the cookies, you can also use a Chrome browser extension called Edit This Cookie. I have that extension installed here, so I'm gonna click on it. And here you can see all the cookies. Click on the arrow next to the name of the cookie, and you can see the values stored in them, the domain they are tied to, path, expiration, etc. It's the same information that you have available in your developer's console. So here you have 
the domain, the path, the expiration date, the size of the cookie, etc. Everything is stored here. Edit this cookie just makes it easier for you to see this information. Using edit this cookie, you can even go ahead and change any of these values if you would like. That comes in handy for testing purposes. I have covered edit this cookie Chrome extension in another video. You can find a link to that video in the description of this video. Using JavaScript, you can read and write the data in cookies, local storage, and session storage. So now that you understand the difference between cookies, session storage, and local storage, then the next question is, which one should you use? So here is a simple guide for you to decide which one to use and when. If you need the values on the server, then use cookies. If you need values in session only, then you can use cookies or session storage. If you need values across days or visits, then use cookies or local storage. If you need to store large amount of data, then local storage is your answer. Using JavaScript, you can read and write the values to cookies, local storage, and session storage. If you are interested in diving deeper into JavaScript for Google Tag Manager, then check the description of this video for a link. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment on this video, letting me know your thoughts and any questions that you might have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon on this channel so that you never miss any new videos from me. I will see you in the next video.